Clinton yesterday indicated that regardless of his guilt or innocence, Brett Kavanaugh disqualified himself because of his temperament. Watch. We have not seen anything quite like that uh, for a long time. Uh, you know, Justice Thomas vigorously defended himself, as some of us can remember, uh, and it was a, a very painful, difficult time for Anita Hill and for many of us watching. It very much felt like, in fact it probably was, uh, the denial of the legitimacy of women's stories. In this case, though, the performance, the behavior, uh, was, was quite out of bounds. Keep in mind, that is the very same crowd you just saw boo Lindsey Graham. It would be worth remembering how Hillary Clinton herself behaved when she appeared before the Senate. Here's a reminder. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? Because it's really about temperament. Richard Goodstein is a former advisor to both Bill and Hillary Clinton. And despite his bad opinions, a great guy, and we're glad to have him. Richard, thank and, you very much. And I was much. in the audience, just for the record, when Lindsey Graham spoke today at The Atlantic. Just, just the interest of full really? disclosure. Well, you I must, was. You not must, booing. You must have a Harvard degree. I'm very impressed. Um, you probably do, actually. But uh, let me ask you. So Hillary Clinton, when she called Monica Lewinsky a narcissistic looney tune, and I'm quoting now, was she believing all women when she said that? Well, uh, I mean, that's not a quote. That was a report. It is a quote. Look, look, the, look the, what she was trying to say in the Atlantic uh, interview yesterday <laughs> is that unlike the 11 and a half hours that she submitted to testimony and kept her calm on the Benghazi hearings on the House side, where, where Trey Gowdy concluded she had done nothing wrong, Brett Kavanaugh, after less than 15 minutes, totally fell apart. And, and again, is that the behavior that we want to see in a Supreme Court justice? That's really the only point that she was making. Yeah, no, it's, and it's, 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 it's a totally fair her. point. You, you, you accuse someone of the sex crime with no evidence. His family's completely under attack. He'll never work again. People are calling for his impeachment before he even gets on the court. That's totally cool. Imagine if you really didn't do it or believed you didn't do it. How would you? I'm surprised he was as calm as he was. Honestly, like, how would you respond? Sincere uh, look, look, question. Look, um, look. As far as the evidence is concerned, the evidence is Mark Judge's girlfriend, at least in the papers, was reported to have said that he confessed to her behavior like this. She said this to a therapist. You know, I heard your earlier guest. Wait, wait, wait confess that Mark Judge did that? Is, so Mark Judge has now been nominated for the court? Or no. what, are we going to bring him up on? Why are we attacking no, Mark Judge exactly? No, what does he have to no, do with it? No, but what we want is somebody who is unimpeachable, not unindictable. Who is not friends with Mark Judge? Like, what is Mark Judge? So Mark Judge's girlfriend. Yes. Uh, Elizabeth Razor, I think her name is, from Maine, mm -hmm. says that Mark Judge at one point told her during their six-year relationship that he had done something bad in high school. Okay. What does that have to do with Brett Kavanaugh exactly? Well, it's, it may be evidence, and we'll find out what Mark Judge says if we ever get a look at this FBI interview, um, that he may have actually been there. And, and you know, but Mark you, Judge already it, said under oath that he wasn't, that this no, didn't well, happen. Through his lawyer submitted a letter. Let's put, let's subject no, him no, to kind of... It was, well, a, it was a sworn statement. I mean, well, he could be brought up on perjury charges. let's subject him to cross-examination. That was the flaw in Rachel Mitchell's report, mm -hmm. is that she was basically opining. She never talked about Kavanaugh's testimony. She never spoke openly to Ford separately. So let's let the FBI kind of get the facts out, and then we'll see, you know, whether any of these stories hold up or not. What the president right. said last night was despicable. Okay, so, so here's what, okay, right. And maybe we should throw Mark Judge in prison because his former girlfriend said he said something uglier. I mean, I think that's the standard now. As a guest to explain so. last night, if you feel it in your heart, it's true because America actually has gone crazy. Um, I only have a U.S. passport, so I'm here to the end. I'm gonna keep fighting oh. against this, but a lot of other people are gonna leave. Let me, really quickly, yeah. do you think, and I hate you know, going into like the deep, dark past, not 37 years ago, but like 20 years ago, but do you think Hillary should apologize for directing the smear campaign against her husband's former girlfriends? You know, which I, she I think did. Th I think there were people uh, in the Clinton White House who hung on to the notion that, that Monica Lewinsky was making things up. I never heard Hillary Clinton say that publicly, and everybody who was kind of a public defender of Bill Clinton's never said that. And all I'm saying is, let's, you know, wait, 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 Brett Kavanaugh is up for a lifetime appointment. Wait, wait, stop. I covered it. 
I was there for all of it. And Sidney Blumenthal was, of exactly, course, the closest. But never publicly. Yeah. He, he, he never actually went on the air and said those crazy well, things. Well, he said it to me, actually, directly to me Fine. on the telephone the day that it broke. She's a stalker. So this was being directed by Hillary. There's no debate about it. A lot of books written on this. People who work for Hillary have said it. Should, look, I'm not saying she should go to hell for it or go to prison, but shouldn't she apologize at least for that? I no? got bad news for your audience. Hillary Clinton is not running for president. No, you can run as many as segments a as you want. Shouldn't she just say, I'm sorry, you know what? My, I, would, my, I felt my husband was under attack. I attacked his girlfriends. I should have I should have believed she all did. women. You never the, said that. Again, she talked about a, a vast right-wing conspiracy, which I think the record shows. And Brett Kavanaugh was part of it. Why did he have that prurient <laughs> oh, interest? Listen, okay. no, listen, I'm sorry, I'm Tucker. Gonna, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to call Brett time. Not just because we're out of time. Not just because we're out of time. Have a prurient interest in Bill Clinton's oh, sex life. Because he's, uh, he's a sex criminal. He did. Doesn't <laughs> that kind of trace criminal. up here? This is too crazy. Just asking. Great. That's an excellent point. Uh, Richard, great to see you tonight. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good try. Good try. Democrats have not proven any of these allegations against Kavanaugh. Some are now saying he must step aside simply for being accused. That's a brand new standard in the country that you grew up in. Are you comfortable with it? We're going to ask Alan Dershowitz if he is. That's next. 